Today, I'm going to tell you guys how we prepared our 140 pound Great Dane for the arrival of our baby. I am going to tell you how we got our Great Dane ready for baby, but first off, please in the comment section, let me know the kind of pets, animals that you have. I'd love to know, I'm a huge animal lover. As you know, we have a huge Great Dane. She's 140 pounds. Her name is Juliet. And she's pretty much been our only child for the last eight and a half years, so and she's old for a Great Dane. She's a senior, I think they say she's about 80 years old. Um, so we were kind of nervous to bring home a baby to with such a big cranky, not cranky, a big dog. She's not cranky, she's just stubborn and she's just used to getting all the attention. So we researched and did everything that everyone said. The first thing they said to do, oh, my little punch is about to cry. The first thing they said to do was to set up all the baby stuff early. So we set the swing up, we got the car seat in the house, her nursery, but more than just the nursery, like the stuff that's gonna be in the living room. We have a rock and play in the living room, we have a swing in the living room, whatever. And then we started to wash her clothes so Juliet could smell everything, which was fine. Another thing that they said to do was to play crying music or find something of a crying baby. We didn't do that. Um, thought that would traumatize her, but if you want to try it, go right ahead. If it works, just comment and let me know if it actually works for you guys. Um, and then pretty much the next step to do was after our daughter was born and hold on it's almost lunch dinner number two uh, as you know when you give birth to a baby or if you don't know they're literally gonna wrap your child in like 12 million blankets they're gonna change them wrap them whatever the very first blanket if you can it's gonna be gross but it's gonna have the baby scent all over it ask to have that so your husband, your mother-in-law, your mom, your dad, somebody can bring it home to your dog. So, so your pet can sniff it and get used to it so when you come home, it's not a complete shock, all right? That is the most important step. If you don't do anything else I just said, you have got to do that. Okay, so the next thing to do is on your way, when you come home, mom, leave the baby with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, your mom, your dad, whoever you're coming home with, leave the baby with them, like in the car for a little bit. You come and you greet the dog first. The dog is going to go crazy. They're gonna sniff you, they're going, your pet, I'm sorry, your pet. Your pet is going to sniff you like crazy. You're gonna smell completely different. Um, so just give them all the loving that you can. Make sure you give your dog or your pet all the attention for like, five, 10 minutes. Leave the baby in the car with somebody else. Don't leave your baby unattended. Don't be that idiot. And then slowly introduce the baby to your pet. Keep it in the, keep it in the carrier. That's, that's why it's just more secure and everything. Um, I brought the carrier and I put it on the couch and I let Juliet just sniff her and she was fine. From this point on, Juliet has been glued to my daughter's hip. She pretty much just won't leave her side. Um, I've seen no signs of aggression or anything. She sometimes gets sick of the crying, so what she does is she just gets up and leaves the room, but for the most part, she loves going on, well, she's in the room, WALKs with the baby in the stroller and everything. She's super protective, but like I said, please let me know how you're, if you guys have any more tips or anything like that to let our viewers know or whatever, please comment them below along with your pets because I would love to see them. Truly, I will. I mean, see them, know what you have. I love animals, even if it's a pet alligator or something, or even a goldfish. I don't really care. I want to know. Uh, your house a pet alligator. Well, I don't know. I don't know if that will work. Get rid of the alligator. I've always wanted, okay, since I was a kid, I always wanted a pet alligator. And you have an alligator, baby. Maybe not. But iguana, a snake, just let me know. All right. Thanks, guys. I just said thanks, I can't say you're welcome.